Hey guys, welcome back. Not only is it such a gorgeous day out today, it's also the 30th week of my pregnancy. Can you believe we only have 10 weeks left? It's crazy. Right now we're on our way to my doctor's office for my regular checkup. So, uh, what are, what's gonna happen today in the next checkup? We're still gonna hear the baby's heartbeat. Um, because, like, as you, the major part where we start worrying, of course, is just to make sure that the baby's not breached, the, you know what I mean? Everything's okay. But today we're just gonna hit the baby's heartbeat, you know, making sure your blood pressure's fine, you're not going into any early labor, you're not um, leaking any fluid, right? Mm -hmm. Baby moved already. He moved already. Yeah, we have to find this so active. Where is he's he fast? Yeah, it was just there loud and clear. I just got my results back from the blood test that I took in my previous vlog. Everything is okay, but my iron is a little bit low. Last time it was at an 11.9, which is perfectly normal, and right now it's at 10.7. So the nurse prescribed me these iron pills that I'm supposed to take once a day until the end of my pregnancy, and I should be okay. All right, we're done for the day. I had a conversation with my midwife about breastfeeding. She was telling me how it's best for the baby and just giving me all the pros about it. But I would really like to know, what do you mommies out there think about breastfeeding or the mommies to be? Just comment down below and let me know. Oh yeah, it's lunchtime and Shake Shack is gonna hit the spot right now. We're here, we made it in, we just got our food. Hubby ordered a chicken shack, which is a chicken burger with french fries and a lemonade. I ordered a shack burger, which is a cheeseburger with french fries and a vanilla milkshake. They gave us this strawberry mint drink. Oh, it's disgusting. It tastes like a virgin mojito, but a cheap version. I don't know, it was nasty, but we're so ready to eat. So we're leaving the mall now. I made a quick stop at the Apple store. I needed to pick up two charges because the ones at the house already got the turtleneck. If you have an iPhone, you know what I'm talking about. My favorite part about the spring and summertime is the cherry coco piña lady. Baby, how was that cherry coco piña? Oh my God, I felt something crunchy in my mouth when I bit it, and I thought it was a nail clipping, but <laughs> then when I looked at it, it was just a coconut shred. I was about to throw We're up. We're at the car wash. Decided to take a seat because, for one, these seats look comfy. Secondly, it's really packed, and it's gonna be a while. I need water, ASAP. H2O? H2O. I need a good cold bottle of H2O. Uh, as soon as we get out of here, I'm getting a nice bad bottle. <laughs> oh yeah, it's time to eat again. Got that shrimp burrito over there. Same old drink. Mm. This is not straight up orange, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, it is, kind of. I've been looking for the right orange one, but I always end up finding like a reddish orange and I hate that. I want a bright neon orange lipstick. This one's called Orange County, it's nice. What do you think? Bright. I like it, right? It's nice and bright for spring and summer. I don't know, I just like to step outside the box. Like neutral colors are cool, but I like to have fun with makeup. I like to play around with colors and yeah. This is beautiful. 
Oh, look, they got these. They're they're always out of these. Oh, don't mind this. It's the NYX eyeshadow that I swatched earlier. 07, 07, satin ribbon. 11, 05, beauty mark. I don't like beauty mark. Lace detail. Honeymoon. It's a little bit too brown for me. I want to see corset. Corset, corset. We've got to hurry up now because they want to close in about five minutes or so. We close at nine o'clock, but they start kicking us out at like 8.45. This one's pretty cool too, orange sickle. Nah, see that's that reddish orange I'm talking about. I don't want that. I have too many of those. That orange is dope though. I like that. I like that a lot. This one though, they never have it. Ooh, is that it right there? Because you know, sometimes they'll be stashed on them. Nope. Nope. All out. I have too many pinks, too many reds. Oh. Oops. Eh. I just love altar. I go crazy every time I see an altar. I just have to come in. Especially NYX Cosmetics. NYX Cosmetics, favorite drugstore brand for sure. For sure. Oh man, why didn't I grab it last time? I don't have it now. Fuck, these fuckers. They take all the good stuff. I'm telling you. They don't want nothing for the little people like me. Motherfuckers. Now what do I get? They didn't leave shit for me. I'm gonna try these out. $2.99, you can't beat that. I can't wait to get home to take off these lashes. <sighs> Don't you hate that when you have lashes on and they bother you like they're like poking you in the inner corner? <sighs> I just wanna get home, take them off. It's gonna be the best feeling ever. We're the last ones in Alta, so you know we're addicted. Hello ladies and gentlemen, today you'll be shopping with British Kim. We're gonna try to catch the stores before they close. Uh, Alta was about to close in about 10 minutes. And, uh, they let us in though, they let us in. They know my name holds weight in these streets. <laughs> they know I'm always in there, so they didn't even try to play me. I had about five minutes to shop and I made it happen. Now we're about to check out what else is open. Once they see my face, they're gonna let us in, trust me. They know who we are. Hashtag Jesus and Kim X3. Let's check it out. Let's see. Oh yeah, they let these fucking pups in right now, so they're gonna let us in for sure. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys know, we've been doing some home renovations lately. So we're here at our favorite store, Century 21, but this time we're not in the clothing section, we're actually in the home section. So yeah, I think we're gonna go pick up some pots and pans and little knickknacks for our home. These are cool for some makeup brushes. Look, for his sonogram. Time to leave Century because they're closing in about three minutes, so I wasn't able to get anything right now. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Next time we come into Costco's. What you think, baby? Costco's or BJ's? I don't know. They both have food. I personally, so I, like, like, I personally like BJ's. I like BJ's. What's up, Mama? Gotta use the bathroom? I need to because the baby's sitting right on top of my bladder and it's so uncomfortable right now. You're almost there. Uh. Good morning, guys. It's such a beautiful day out today. It's gonna be around 75 degrees and we're gonna take a little road trip today. We're actually gonna head to the Palisades Mall, but before we do, we're gonna go ahead and switch cars first. We're about to switch cars. I like to use this car when we're traveling far. It's a little bit dirty, but it's all good. Haven't used it in a while. Yes. 
Look at Yolanda when she was little. Quick stop at the car wash. We brought out the monster today. Before we head out. Hey, Carol from The Walking Dead. Let us know this who Carol? dies this season. <laughs> we want to know who dies. <laughs> the breeze from the heat wave stole my emotions. I left my doubts when I was swept by the ocean. Every pulse from the tide was a finish line A wave race we were made to ride You and I were first in line And we took them by surprise I was with you all the time You may not realize but Check out the scene, we finally made it, Palisades. We found parking, I had to put the visor on there because it's beaming out here. We're here at the mall, we're about to go inside right now and before all the madness and shopping and running around, we're gonna grab some food because we haven't had breakfast yet. You know Kim wants to go there, right? Look at, look at the size of this logo, it's huge, ginormous. We finally got our food. We're about to have some brunch. I'm having the lo mein with the general toast chicken and orange chicken, and hubby's having the same with shrimp fried rice. Tell me that doesn't look good. How was the food, baby? It was really good. Now I have some energy in me. You ready to shop? I'm ready. Let's check out the bathroom. Like the Batman cave. Damn, fam. It puts Queen Sun to the shame. These are mean. It was either red, gray, or them gray ones up there. The one with the red. I've been to Forever 21 all over the city. Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens. But this one looks really big, so I want to go in there and check it out. I've been dying to find like a floral shirt, a beautiful floral spring shirt where I could do like, you know, get ready with me slash spring outfit. But I found this one and this is gorgeous. 
The only thing is, it's a romper. And I'm not really into rompers like that, especially now. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep looking. Is itchy but you can't scratch it because you have falsies on ah. <laughs> ah. I picked up a couple pieces I have them right here and before I go try them on I'm gonna go check out the accessories I love forever 21 accessories they always have some cute things every single time I come here If somebody would have asked me to hold their bags, I would have, then put it on the floor and walked away. But well, since this came, it's all good. What, well, baby? What you got over here? I love these camis. A dollar ninety, and they're so comfortable, and they don't wear out right after washing. Love you. I'm about to go into the fitting room right now to try on some of these clothes. Ugh, I dread this part. Who else hates trying on clothes as much as I do? Trying on clothes was an epic fail, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take these and I'm gonna go check out some other stores. So we sat down for a minute to take a quick break and charge our phones, and then after this, we're gonna head to H&M. So I was looking around in here and honestly they don't have too many things that are pregnancy friendly but I did see this beautiful blouse which I think is going to be perfect for spring now that it's getting nice and warm. It's nice and airy and of course it's olive green. It's one of my favorite colors so I always tend to gravitate towards it when I'm picking out clothes. So yeah I'm just going to go purchase this now. Tell me this mall isn't huge. Look at this. You can get lost in here. Now that looks scary. I'm so scared of heights, I wouldn't even dare do that, even if I wasn't pregnant. So I just picked up some cute things from Papaya. I hate the fruit, I love the store. We're gonna go to the car right now to drop some of the bags off because they're getting a little heavy and then we'll make our way back in. We're heading over to the car real quick to drop off these bags. Then we gotta head back in. They're a little too heavy. So we're carrying all these shits. Straight up. What you gonna do, baby? Sit in there for a little while with the AC on? Good thing I'm having the baby in the beginning of the summer. I go crazy being pregnant all summer. I'm gonna start bringing this baby out more often. I hardly bring out because she's really big. Look at the size of this thing. We're heading back in. Look, Kim is covering her hair because you know, her hair is so important. But it started to rain. Not that much.
I'm seriously overwhelmed with the amount of stores that there are in this mall. I don't think there's enough hours in the day to go to every single store in just one day. We've been walking around for a while, so we're gonna sit down, catch our breath, and go grab something to eat. Jesus and I wanna feel like kids again, so we might go on the Ferris wheel in a little while. Ah, we needed this. After walking all morning and afternoon, this is a nice little break. It's like a mini wonder wheel. It reminds me of Coney Island. You can see the parking lot. You can see everything from here. You can see all the little restaurants at the food court. This is really romantic. A nice little ride on the Ferris wheel with my love. Hey. It's crazy, man. Oh no, it stopped. All right, it's time to eat, guys. We're gonna go into Johnny Rockets right now and check out the menu. We've never seen a Johnny Rockets, so we don't know. We just know that they have hamburgers and fries. Let's see what else they have. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Chocolate peanut butter, peanut butter, butter finger. That sounds good. A little bit too much, right? I'm gonna be like, ah! <laughs> um, yes, please. And I'll do a um, on Oreo cookies and cream shake. All right, thank you. And um, I'm sorry. Can we have some water, please? Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. So, um, what did you want? And give me a sample, bitch. <laughs> I was tired laughing when I was thinking about it. You were ordering, you said, can I have the chicken sandwich? And you said, no cheese. And you said, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, she looked at me, she goes, you want that? She goes, you want a, a single or a double? I said, double. Fuck you, fat ass. And I said, let me get the Oreo cream milkshake. <laughs> Let's see if this works. What? Better start playing. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Where is it? Oh no, it doesn't really work. Wow, later. <laughs> That's for sure. Bamba, really? Bamba. 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 One. Wow. You just see my five cents. <laughs> wow. We ate our nickel, but we about to get some good food right now. Some burgers, some ranch fries, some ranch fries, some shakes. <laughs> and I got a double. <laughs> he said, oh. I was chasing Marty. Next thing you know, I look under the tree, she was chasing an armadillo. <laughs> oh, baby. Imagine we were born in like the 40s and 50s and we were dating. We'd have to listen to these songs. <laughs> You'd have your hair slicked back like that. With your little leather jacket. Like grease. Yeah, like grease. I'll have my poodle skirt, with my little bow tie on my neck. I'll be the fun. <laughs> yeah, you'll be the fun. Are you dancing like that? <laughs> oh. I love you, crap. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have some french fries, chicken sandwich, Johnny Rocket style, some ketchup smiling at me, the banana shake, you already know, mm, about to go in. Kim got the, the triple decker and some um, Oreo shake. It looks good too, I want to taste that. No, I really want to.
to make it even better, look what's right in front of us. Sephora! <laughs> Being in here, I'm excited. I love Sephora. So Kathleen Lights posted this on her Instagram and she said that if you have a boyfriend or a husband that they need this in their lives and she was right, it smells amazing. It smells really good. At the moment, I'm not too crazy about scents because it's just due to the pregnancy. I just can't stand any smells, but this smells good. I'm gonna spray you. I actually like it. It smells really good. Today's finds are Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. This was the last one. I got lucky. And I picked up a red lipstick from my mother-in-law because that's all she uses. She just loves red lipstick. So Jesus and I are going to get her Ruby Luster from the Sephora collection. I think she's really going to like it. I don't know, but I'm feeling a little funny. I think I'm starting to feel British Kim kicking. <laughs> oh, you know, it's been a long day of shopping and, you know, it's been a good life and, oh, Zuma's getting her beard waxed. Actually threatened. It's insane. Look at that, look at that. No shame whatsoever, you know what I mean? Just take a razor, do it yourself in your own comfort of your own home. You gotta come to the mall, put you in the middle of the, the freaking hallway and just... Oh my god, you guys, I love this mall. We've been here all day since like 11 in the morning. And right now it's about 8.10 almost. And I still don't feel like it's been enough time. Like, you definitely need to have the whole weekend to be able to go into every single store here. But it's beautiful, it's nice and spacious. We were able to find some great things. We had to go to the truck like twice to drop off our bags and come back in to look into all the other stores. But it's so spacious in here. Like, for God's sakes, they have a carousel. What more do you want? You know, we hit all these places up here, but we're from the hood, so we're still gonna hit up Target regardless, right, baby? That's right. Gotta hit that Target. How crazy was that walk to Target? Isn't it so cool, all the stores and restaurants that they have here? I wish we lived like right around the corner, but then again, if we did, we'd be coming here like every day, and then we'd be eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the next year or so. So it's kind of good that we live about an hour away. Right now, we're in the baby section because. We still haven't found like a stroller that's perfect for us. And I hope we find one. Who knows? It feels amazing. Uh, I feel like I'm laying on a cloud right now. How long have we been walking, baby? Since what time? Since like 11 in the morning, probably a little bit earlier. Serious. I'm tired. What time is it? It's like almost nine o'clock. It's like 8.30 right now. Beat. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Movie when we get home, babe? Yeah. Yeah. Some movies and some good relaxation. Today we had a nice workout though. We burned some calories. Yeah, I burned a lot of calories today. I have a serious question for my beauty lovers out there. I've been on the hunt for the Ardell Double Wispy Lashes and I can't seem to find them. I bought so many packs at Beautycon, but I'm down to like my last two pairs and 
I can't find them in any store, so if you know where they sell them, please let me know. No, they didn't have what this I wanted. Paper change. Cash is dispensed below the scanner. Let's get out of here. I'm ready to go home. I'm tired. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Jesus wants to stay in here till they close. I'm ready to go home, relax, watch a movie or something, and hit the sack. I'm such an early bird. Well, not really, but right now I feel like I'm gonna be tonight because I'm beat. <laughs> We've been up since early in the a.m. You ready to go home, baby? I'm ready. Be right. So be ready to go back to Brooklyn. Wanna get out of here? Oh man, you guys, we finally found the exit after getting lost in that huge maze of a mall. Well, we're ready to go home now. We're tired, it's been a long day, and it's been fun. So as you guys saw the other day when we were at the Palisades Mall, we came across this restaurant called Johnny Rockets and we completely fell in love with their milkshakes. So I was telling Jesus that there has to be one here in the city and when I looked it up, it turns out that there's one here in Atlas Park Mall. So we're here today to pick up two more of those milkshakes. I kind of want to try something different on the menu but I'm just the type of person that if I like something on the menu, I stick to that one thing because I never really have luck if I try something else. It just doesn't turn out to be good. So I'm gonna order my Oreo milkshake and a burger. I love this place. It has such a good feel to it. There's no restaurants around here like this. Like Every time you walk in, they're like, Hi, welcome to Johnny Rockets, welcome. It's cute, I like it. And all they play is oldies songs and you know, just the whole 40s and 50s theme. It's really cute. I'm currently in a danger zone right now and I just can't fight the urge to go in. Look what's behind me right now. I have to go in. You know, I have to go in. Oh hey there, it's British Kim reporting live here from Ulta. I'm here in the lash section and I still can't find the all dead double up wispies. I don't know what's going on, man. Seems like I'm gonna have to order them online and it's getting me fucking pissed. We're currently at Alton. I was looking for a golden glitter liner and I found it. How lucky am I today? It's all over your face, look. Oh my god, it's going swatches on my body. No. Damn, it's we're out, I fed my addiction. Got some swatches on my face though. A Little bit on my cheek, a little bit on my neck. You could kind of see it still. But that's the struggle of being a makeup addict. I'll tell you what really tickles my pickle. We were about to pay for the meter. Then right there we see the sign that says no cash, credit cards only. Go to level three to pay cash. We go to level three, couldn't find it. Turns out it's really level two. I don't know what's going on with this place. But we made it, we bought make it to the car and get the fuck out of here. Good morning. It's the first day of week 31. My baby's the size of a coconut this week and I can feel him moving more than ever now. I can literally see his little hands and feet moving through my skin. It's pretty cool. I'm just sitting here admiring this beautiful round belly of mine, feeling like a loaf of bread. <laughs> Let me get up and get this day started. Hey there, good afternoon. It's kind of gloomy out today, it's Thursday, and it's starting to drizzle, it's kind of chilly, but we're on our way to get some food right now. We are so in the mood right now for some meatball parmesan and chicken parmesan heroes, and we're going to go to Fresh Pond Road and Metropolitan Avenue. I think it's called Rosa's Pizza. I'm telling you, they have the best chicken parmesan meatball sandwiches that we've had so far, so we're going to go check that out right now, grab some of those, because we're starving. Now tell me that food didn't look good. Not only did it look good, it tasted even better. 
Even the garlic knots are delicious there and I'm usually sketchy about getting garlic knots because a lot of the places sprinkle like raw garlic on top and it just leaves you smelling like you could kill a vampire with your breath. <laughs> but not those. Those taste like mini little dinner rolls. They were so good. Definitely recommend it. Right now we're in the mood for something sweet, of course, as per usual. So we're going to go pick up some milkshakes at Johnny Rockets again. I know we've been binging on that place. We just fell in love with their milkshakes. They're so good. So that's what we're going to do right now. Can't wait to show you guys what looks I create with this palette. It's so beautiful, so bright, and I swatched it for myself. Pigmentation is on point. All right, now we're on our way to Forever 21 before they close. Um, I want to pick up some shirts because my belly just makes all my shirts rise. So I'm hoping I can find some cute like body suits so I can film with. I'm still getting used to having this big ball on my stomach. <laughs> So yeah, I definitely need to find some better shirts. When we were here a while back, one of my Instagram friends told me that she works here, so I'm hoping that I see her tonight. Guys, this is Jaylene. Hi. This is who I was talking about. She's here. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> talking about makeup. Talking about makeup and yeah, the last time I saw her, I didn't have this big yeah. old bump, but... It was at the supermarket, now yeah. moving on up. Moving on up, now she's a Forever 21. The mall's about to close in about five minutes. I'm so happy with my purchases today. I found some cute clothes, and I got some great makeup from Ulta. You can never beat that. We're gonna head out of here. We're gonna head back to Brooklyn, because now it's getting a little nippy out. We finally made it home, my favorite place in the entire world. I'm sitting in my office right now, but before I came upstairs, I checked our mailbox and I'm like, I received this package from Kylie Cosmetics and I was shocked because I had already received the lip kits and lip glosses that I ordered from her. But then I remembered that there was a whole commotion about everyone saying that they received their wands damaged of the lip glosses. And then Kylie mentioned that she was gonna send everybody who ordered on April 1st new glosses. And I just so happened to be one of the people who ordered on April 1st. So she sent me new glosses, which I'm really excited about because I do love the quality of these glosses. So it's really nice to have backups. So these are the old glosses and these are the new ones. And since I'm already sitting here, I might as well show you guys the things that I picked up today. I'm gonna start with the things that I picked up from Ulta. The first thing that I picked up was this tube of glitter by NYX Cosmetics, which looks like this. This is such a beautiful bronze color that I instantly fell in love with it. And if you know me, you know that I love to play with glitter when I'm doing my makeup looks, so this is definitely going to be put to use. The next thing that I picked up from NYX Cosmetics is this beautiful yellow eyeliner in the color Vivid Halo. Like I said, I love to step out of the box. I love having fun with vivid, bright, vibrant colors. So this is going to be perfect for the upcoming warmer months. And it's also going to switch it up from using the traditional black eyeliner. Then I went ahead and picked up some false lashes. I picked up the Wispy 600 Lashes by Ardell. And this is how they look. They're so beautiful and they remind me of the 615 lashes, I believe, by Salon Perfect that everyone raves about, but you can only find them at Walmart and they're almost completely impossible to find, so I'm definitely excited to use those. The first thing that I saw when I walked into Ulta was the new Alice in Wonderland limited edition collection with Urban Decay, and I actually picked up two of the lipsticks from that collection. The first one is called Time, which is a beautiful grayish blue lipstick. It's so unique, it's unlike anything that I have. And Hubby actually fell in love with that lipstick, which is why I had to pick it up. And the second one is called Mad Hatter. It's such a beautiful purple lipstick. And even though I have a lot of purple lipsticks, I felt like this one was unique in its own way because it has a little bit of shimmer and it's just beautiful for the upcoming warmer months. So these are the two lipsticks that I picked up. And last but not least, I picked up the Alice in Wonderland palette. I'm really excited to play around with this because when I swatched it, it looked really pigmented and beautiful. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping that they're just as pigmented and good quality when I apply it on my eyes. 
So this is how the packaging looks for that. By the time I got to Forever 21, I wasn't able to get too many pieces because they were about to close. So my main focus was just to get a couple things that not only complemented my belly, but that were super comfy because that's number one for me, comfortability. The first thing that I picked up was this oatmeal colored dress. It's actually one of those midi type of dresses. It goes down to the calves and I'm unable to show you guys the length of it at the moment, but perhaps I'll include it in one of my future lookbooks. Next, I picked up a nude basic bodysuit. I've been loving bodysuits lately because they're comfortable, they wrap around the belly, and they don't go up like regular shirts do. The next thing that I got is just a basic tee, but I fell in love with the color and the fact that it's a super stretchy material. So that's that. It was just a beautiful basic magenta tee. I fell in love with it. And the last thing that I picked up was this beautiful throwover. It's like an ombre color. It goes from white to blue, and I just fell in love with it, so I had to have it. This one is sleeveless, and again, it goes all the way down past the knees. I love it. So that's it, guys. That's everything that I picked up today. I'm exhausted. I need to get to bed. I need to get some rest. I thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you all very soon in my next vlog. Mwah. Good night. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> but then again, <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my God. I didn't even look up to be able to warn you. <laughs>